Pill Cosby was found guilty on all counts. I just, wow. Let me tell you something about some of y'all face. Let me tell you something about your, some of y'all face and it may, it may sting a little bit because it may apply to a lot of them. A lot of your faves have built up this, these platforms. I tweeted this. A lot of your faves have built up these platforms by being misogynist as hell, sexist as hell. They've been um, sex, sexually assaulting. A lot of your faves have been cooning. This goes for social media and for regular, I guess, celebrities. A lot of your faves have built up this shit on all of the above. And now we're reaching a point in society where culture is shifting, where we're realizing that some of the shit that we've been thinking about and saying and doing is fucked up. So now your face have built, built these platforms on those very same things that we're knocking down and are watching as their careers crumble before their eyes and they're freaking out, you know, hopping onto every platform that they've ignored throughout the entirety of their career, you know, hopping onto these platforms that they never even talked about in order to try and sell their careers but it doesn't work now what I'm telling you right now it doesn't matter what you do whether you want a career in social media whether you want a career being a fucking singer celebrity whatever it is if you build up your platform on some shit like that and it skyrockets and you think that you're gonna be on top of the world because you've been accepted by the powers that be I want you to understand that the shit sooner or later will hit the fan and the shit will crumble so now you can skyrocket and you will hit you will skyrocket girl the girls be gassing your ass up if you build your shit off of some fucked up shit you know, you'll skyrocket, you probably make a whole lot of money. But you'll see when the shit starts to crumble. Uh, only things that are built on some strong ass foundation will last. And it, a lot of times, it takes hard work, it takes a lot of fucking effort, it takes sweat, blood, and tears. But you will last. You may not fucking skyrocket like how you want to within the first fucking year, but anything that comes quickly goes quickly. So, as we can see, that sh I mean, this shit took a long time to go because of how society was. But Mr. Bill Cosby, the rest of you girls are getting your shit rocked too, sis. Mr. R, R, R. Kelly, they coming for you ass too so sis I want you and your face to just build on something genuine something with substance so that they will be here um, in the next fucking five years you know what I mean because I've seen your face just come and go come and go I'm saying okay girl <laughs> And people are still so pressed, they're still so bothered. Oh my god, I can't- He was trying to buy NBC, I'm just like, girl, do you know NBC is worth 196 like, billion dollars? How the fuck was this little ass millions going to purchase that? What the fuck do y'all be talking about? Y'all are just bad that y'all grew up with this man in your household and he turned out to be someone that he's not, girl. And he used that same ass mentality that, oh, this Bill, this is Bill Cosby, he could never do so, no shit like that, to silence his victims. That's the same shit he did. So bitch, what you need to do, what we all need to do, is is hold our faves accountable, hold ourselves accountable, so it won't reach no shit like this girl again. Like, this shit is fucked up. This shit is fucked up. If we let this shit go on, we let it. Oh my god, well that's my fave. You know what I mean? Well, oh my god, well he offered me this, she offered me that. That's my fave. This shit will turn into a fucked up ass like cancer that will spread throughout some shit, girl. Handle the shit before it gets like this. And this is what is happening now, as I said, it's a shift in culture, I feel like. And we're just getting these girls out of here. R. Kelly, as I said, we're coming for that ass next. As we reach the political sides, I want to talk about the fact that Diamond and Silk claimed under oath at a House Judiciary Committee hearing on Thursday. Uh, that they were never paid for their consulting work by Trump's 2016 presidential campaign. Um, Sheila Jackson Lee, um, who goes by Diamond, we're gonna call you Cole, sis, because the only way that your ass is gonna be a diamond is if pressure is being applied, and it's being applied right the fuck now, girl. She said, we have never been paid by the Trump campaign, but the federal campaign finance filings show otherwise. It's just like the receipts. It's, and I said on Twitter, I said, y'all coon, y'all coon on social media, bitch. Cooning in the government is a completely different story, sis. And you're you're obviously not playing, you playing checkers while they play, playing chess, sis. They got the receipts on y'all ass. So, um, coons of a feather flock together, but sis, they're about to kill two birds with one stone. And the fact that y'all lied about $1,275, which y'all were paid on November 22nd, 20, 2016, it doesn't make no sense. Y'all lied, y'all lied like it was fucking $120,000, girl. It was $1,200? Could you hoes even pay your rent with this shit? Look at what Coonan gets you! Not, not even two stacks! <laughs> Girl, you gonna commit perjury for that shit? Get out of here! Recently, Trump had a meltdown. Well, I mean, right now, he's apparently talking to the German Chancellor, Angela Merkel, and saying a bunch of dumb shit, I think. He said something to the effect of, like, Germany fires a lot of fucking people very quickly, and just, uh, Miss Angela looked at him like, girl, if you don't sit your ass down, I, Trump always talking some dumb shit, but what I wanted to really focus on was the fact that he went on Fox and Friends and really 
incriminate, like he fucked his own self up. And this is the reason why I feel like his lawyers are just like, girl, please do not interview Trump because he would give everything away. All you have to do is put a mic up in front of his ass, he'll give everything away. <laughs> he gonna say that Michael Cohen go only handles a small part, a very small part of his legal work even though he's known him for fucking decades. He's trying to distance himself even though he's known him for how many fucking years. And then he gonna go out there and say that Michael Cohen does indeed represent him on the Stormy Daniels case. But the thing is that he said, before he said that Michael Cohen was just acting on his own and doing on his own, but now he went on Fox and said that he does represent, he does indeed represent him. So girl, he's making it so much easier for Mr. Michael Alanati. Alvinati went on there and said, uh, another gift from the heavens in this case. In reference to what Trump said on Fox, he said, they just keep coming. I don't know how I've fallen into such good luck in this case, but I'm going to take it. Um, so I'm going to read something here. Trump reportedly said on cable television this morning that Cohen performs a tiny, tiny little fraction of his overall legal work. These statements by two of Cohen's three identified clients suggest that the seized materials are unlikely to contain a lot of privileged documents further supporting the importance of efficiency here. So what they're saying is, girl, this attorney-client privilege that you hold or trying to bank on is not happening now. Definitely not happening now. So Trump, and this is what, this is the only thing that keeps me hopeful is the checks and balances that really drag his ass and the fact that he will talk his own self into a fucking coffin. He will talk himself into the grave, sis. He will be his own undoing. I would say that I hope that he can get it together, but I, I don't. I hope that Mueller actually can get it together so that we can together get his ass completely together out of the White House together. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>